So we've got our hands on the Galaxy Note 2 by Samsung. Like most unboxings, this is a pretty special moment, so let's get it out of its cardboard confines. So here's the Note 2. It's beefier, it's bigger, and generally just looks a lot more polished than before. I'm just gonna put that to the side for a moment. Let's check out what's in the box. Okay, so we've got the quick start guide and that all important warranty card. And there's all your necessary ingredients, so your charger and of course, your headphones. So this is what you actually care about. Of course, the handset itself, which kind of looks like a supersized version of the S3. In fact, I have the S3 here, so let's have a look at them side by side. As you can see, it takes on the appearance of the Galaxy S3. So we've got those rounded edges. The Note 2 is packing a rather thin bezel. Stylings are very, very similar. And the Note 2 pretty much just looks like it's Big Brother. So now let's turn it on. So while it boots itself up, let's just go through what's on the protector. So it's got a super AMOLED screen. It's packing Android. It's actually rocking Jelly Bean, which we'll see in a moment. It's got a quad-core processor, Bluetooth, and NFC. Okay, so one of the biggest criticisms of the original Note was that it was unwieldy and couldn't be used as a phone for everyday use because of its 5.3-inch screen. Well, the Note 2 rocks a 5.5-inch display. The same concerns are still going to arise. In fact, I have the original Note here. And as you can see, this time round, the design is a lot nicer, a lot more compact, the bezel a lot slimmer, and generally just a lot slicker. Now, in terms of weight, both devices are pretty similar. In fact, I believe there's only a two gram difference. And in terms of thickness, the Note 2 is 9.4 millimeters thin compared to 9.65 of the original Note. And what you're seeing is Samsung cramming in a much larger display into a more compact body. Now, if you're still thinking it is too big to hold up to your ear, a bit too awkward, of course, you can always bag yourself a Bluetooth headset. And while it may have a larger 5.5 inch screen, it doesn't look that much bigger. Although some may miss the textured back panel of the original Note and may find the Note 2 a little bit slippery because of its new plastic back panel. Um, but a noticeable difference of the Note 2 is that it now rocks a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So it's a perfect size for watching HD movies on its 1280 by 720 Super AMOLED screen. So it's running Android Jelly Bean, so Android 4.1. In fact, this is the first device to run Jelly Bean straight out of the box. So that's pretty exciting. And being Jelly Bean means that it should be very, very slick due to Project Butter and of course the fact that it is a quad core machine. And so far, swipes and prods are met with immediate action, which is probably in part down to its quad core 1.6 gigahertz processor. And it's hard not to be impressed by the Note 2's fluidity and speed so far. So it's rocking an eight megapixel camera around the back. As you can see, photo quality is pretty decent, but of course this is something we'll be exploring in more detail in a full review. So let's move on to what the Note and the Note 2 are famous for, and that is of course the S Pen Stylus. Now as you can see, it's just triggered S Notes. The minute you take it out, you're presented with the option to start scribbling. Now one of the first things you'll notice about the new S Pen is that it's a lot more refined this time round. It's a lot more ergonomic as well, and that's thanks to it being a bit wider. And as you can see, it's now got a flat side as well. And generally, writing just feels a lot more fluid and accurate. Now, what you'll notice at the top is this little icon here. Now, this is knowledge search. Now, this isn't a feature specific to the Note 2. It's actually an Android Jelly Bean feature. But because you do have the stylus, Samsung has given you the option to write your search term instead of typing it. So just like we've seen with pop-up play on the S3, you can also have a pop-up browser and I'm free to scroll through the contents of my Google knowledge search. Of course, Google's knowledge search recognizes things, people, and the places you're searching for and pulls up all that information into a card format. 
So let's take a look at some of the features we already know about, like air view, for example. So if I hover the stylus over the different options, it will tell me the function of each option, which is quite cool. And again, in a similar capacity, if I hover the stylus over the different albums, it gives me a thumbnail view of all the photos that are in that album. And the same goes for video timelines. As you can see, colors are nice, bright and punchy. Everything looks pretty sharp as well. And it helps that it's all being viewed on a giant 5.5 inch super AMOLED display. And then there's Easy Clip, which allows me to cut things from websites, for example, and either save to different applications or send to my friends. So as you can see, it's presenting me with a load of options where I can send it to. I'm gonna send it to S Note. And like we've seen on the S3 and the Note 10.1, the Note 2 has the pop-up play functionality. So you can search the web while watching a video, for example. And that brings us to the end of our Note 2 unboxing. I think it's safe to say it's definitely a lot more polished than its predecessor. Your aversion to its size will of course depend on the size of your hands. Now the Note 2 is gonna come in two colors, the marble white that you can see now and titanium gray. And Samsung also says we can expect up to 12 hours of battery life. And as ever, you can expect a full review from Stuff.TV very, very soon.